Hi everybody, I'm Keith Davis and welcome to this special edition of PC Voyage. On today's show, we're going to do our final installment of this new PC. Glenn Trim and Ernie Savoy are going to install the CD-ROM and sound card, which is the multimedia package, into the computer, load the software and boot it up and hopefully we'll see a CD-ROM drive in action. And that will put the finishing touches on the computer that they've uh, been putting together on our show. They've put modems in it, uh, the drives, uh, loaded the uh, operating system and gotten the, the computer going. And this is the last thing they have to do with it. And also on today's show, we're going to go back to a computer fair. And the good folks at PC Fest let us uh, bring our cameras into uh, the fair over at the Big E. And the reason we do this is to get people familiar with the computer fairs in the area because if you're uh, new to computers and you haven't been to the fairs yet, uh, it's a great place to go to get good deals on software and hardware, books, and uh, just to browse around and see what's available in the computer market. And if you haven't been to one yet, this will give you a, a little bit of introduction of what it's like to be there and a lot of good deals there. So uh, we'll be right back with Glenn and Ernie and this new PC in just a second. Trim. And I'm Ernie Savoy. And this is This New PC. Well, we've pretty much made a, a nice machine out of this, but there's one thing we haven't done yet, and that's this, uh, that'll finalize our installations of all those things. We're going to go to a multimedia kit, which is basically a sound card and a CD-ROM drive. Give us the capability of doing all the fancy things that you see in the stores today. We've chosen to, to, to take our entire operation as one kit, and it's all in one box. Everything we're going to need here is in one box. But you can go out and buy single components. You can get a sound card separately, and you can get CD-ROM separately, and you can buy the, com the components and put them in individually. But we've started off this way. Let's unpack our box and see what we've got to start with. Over here, we've got our drive packed up nice and snug, so it's not going to be a problem. And we've got a cable to connect it with so that it can converse with our system. We've chosen a drive or a kit that uh, uses caddies. One of the nice things about them, and we'll show you when we put it in the machine, is you can drop the CDs in the caddies, and, and particularly if you have children, um, you don't get a lot of fingerprints. You can buy extra caddies so that you can have things preset so they can just pick them off. And since this machine is probably going to be going into a school system at some point in time, at least that was one of the plans we had when we were building it, um, we have a lot of possibilities that uh, we tried to, to build into it, anticipating that children would be using it. So there's our, our drive. We do have a selection of software that comes with the kit, the kind of things that you get when you buy the kit as a, as a complete section, so that when you put it all together, you want to make sure that uh, if you're comparing prices of individual components versus a kit, make sure you include the software, because some of these things become fairly expensive when you buy them as individual pieces. We have our sound card and a small cable that's taped to the package there. We're going to tear that open. One of the advantages to this kit is that the control interface for the CD-ROM is right on the sound card. Uh, it's a 16-bit sound card. It produces true stereo and has a SCSI controller um, on it. So we don't have to use up yet another slot and another address in the machine. Everything is all in one unit. And again, the sound card that we've chosen is just another card to put in, in the system. And it is a 16-bit card. And we do have on the external side of this connections for our speakers. And we have a game port that we can use uh, joysticks and other, other peripherals with uh, flight simulators, the regular uh, aircraft flight wheels and things like that. So I don't know if you'll get going on that. OK. I'm going to take the slot cover off as we've done it 
for every other installation in the machine. And again, as we said many times before, before you um, go into the machine itself and begin playing with components, always make sure that you ground yourself by touching the machine. And uh, do the same thing with the card. Handle cards from either the flange or the edges. And uh, make sure w when you're lining them up that, again, you've grounded yourself. Another thing that a kit will contain that you won't get if you buy individual components are the speakers. You'll have to go to a uh, Radio Shack store or one of the, the electronic boutique systems, something like that, and find speakers to, to connect to the system. This comes with compatible speakers built into the box. We know it's going to operate because we've taken the kit as a whole piece. So we don't have any guesswork as far as whether these speakers are going to work with the system or not. Okay, card is in. Um, I'll start running the cables while uh, Glenn takes the front off, the flanges off the front, and uh, we begin installing the CD-ROM. Yeah, we have to take the metal flange out, just like we did on the other drive that we put in. And again, we're going to slide one out so we can make the connections on the back. These have tabs to connect to. And we've taken the time to put our rails on already. something here and we're going to have to back this out Let's see what we're hitting. All right, what is nice, at least with this kit, is the dry, the cables aren't only labeled like they standardly are. Uh, again, pin one has a red flange on it. Also on, there's a little indicator on here. But it actually tells you on the cable which end goes to the drive and which end goes to the card. Sorry. At this point, we've got so much stuff in our case that it tends to get a little snug. And you're going to find running the last couple of cables to your last device are a little more difficult than running the first one. So, oh, this is set to go. Okay. Okay, so that's all connected and it's locked in place. Cables are all set. And now we're ready to load software. Okay. Right, why don't you fire it up and we'll load software up. Okay. Here's our little speakers. Let me get them up over there. Again, as it's typical with these kits, um, the basic software for setting this all up and configuring it is going to be on one disk. Um, as soon as the machine boots up, we got a non-system disk in there. Well, I guess we forgot to take that one out. Well. There we go. DOS is loading. And we're set to go. So, floppy goes in our A drive. We'll do a directory. Go to our A drive first and do a directory. Okay, and there is an install.exe program, so we'll type in install and configure our CD-ROM and sound card. If you do decide to do this from separate components, then you're going to get software with both the CD-ROM drive and with the sound card. And sometimes these two pieces of equipment can conflict with each other on IRQs and DMA settings and a number of other things. So this is a very easy way to put things together. Okay, we're at the point now where um, we have installed the CD-ROM and its software, the hardware is configured, and to install the drivers into DOS, we need to reboot the machine. This will take a moment. Okay, our software and hardware is installed. We've re rebooted our machine. Um, the drivers are loaded, and now we're going to see if the CD-ROM drive works. It's been assigned by the machine as drive E, uh, the next logical drive. Remember, uh, for those of you has, who saw us do earlier segments, we partitioned our hard drive into C and D partitions, so the next logical drive is E, and it's been assigned. Always remember, never touch the bottom surface of a CD-ROM disk, because that's where the, the information is actually read from. We'll slide it into slot, lock it in. And then uh, C drive. All 
uh, if you can see on camera, I'm not sure that you can, the CD-ROM is actually accessing right now, and in a moment we should see if we've successfully loaded both the sound card and the CD-ROM. Well, looks like we did it, huh? Well, this is our 486 machine with Carmen San Diego running in the background. It's been a lot of fun putting it together. We'll snap the cover on it and we'll get it out to the people who are going to be using it. Uh, we have no plans on any, anything else. We hope that you've enjoyed what we've done here and we hope that you've gotten something useful out of it. So, I'm Ernie Savoy. And I'm Glenn Drem. And this is This New PC. Bye now. Two thumbs up. Yes. <laughs> Two thumbs up. And we're back from Glenn and Ernie. And hope you enjoyed that final segment of this new PC. And right now we're going to uh, break and go to our address. And you see all this software in front of us. So we always ask people to write in comments, questions, or suggestions. And at the end of our season, we uh, choose people to uh, win this software out of the names of those who have written to us. So uh, we'll go to our address here, and then we'll be right back with our trip over to PC Fest. We'll be right back. back and hope you write to us at the address you just saw on the screen and again each season we give away lots of software and now we're going to go over to the Big E to the computer fair and uh, on this trip we interviewed uh, someone who sells hardware and software and we also talked to someone who sells books and if you're in the market for any kind of book about anything to do with PCs uh, or any kind of computer for that matter uh, books are always available at the computer fairs instructional books on how to run programs, how to build computers and everything. And we even interviewed uh, someone who was there for the first time. So if you haven't been there, you'll know exactly what uh, he was going through in looking at all the stuff at the fair. So uh, Rainey, let's take it away and go right to the Big E. Well, we're back again here at the PC Fest show at the Big E. The people here are kind enough to let us come back and tape again. We were here again, we were here last year. And what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be talking to some of the vendors and some of the people visiting the fair. <laughs> what is it you folks, what is the name of your company? Career Fields Plus. And uh, your name is? My name is Karen. Hi, Karen. Uh, what is it you all do here? Well, we deal in software. Uh, we, educational, we have good educational prices for co college students and teachers. We have academic pricing for them. We have business games, software. CDs, sound cards, sound cards, <laughs> everything. And we do mail ordering as well, uh -huh. so people can call and we'll send out whatever they want. Do you have a store? Or do you just do? We have a store in Edison, in um, Howell, New Howell, Jersey. New Jersey. Right. And um, how many shows a year do you do? Well, we have two crews that go out, so basically we probably do about 200 shows a year. How far do you go to do a show? We'll go as far as Ohio. Oh wow! And how far south? Uh, well. We usually go north. Most of the shows are north. A lot of New England. And yeah, a lot of nor northern shows. Not not many are south south of us. They're mostly north of us. And uh, the dog's gonna take a dive here. <laughs> you smell all my dogs. <laughs> and you said and you you what do you go from one show on a Saturday to a different show on a right, Sunday? Right. Usually we'll have hopefully a show booked on a Saturday as well as a, as a Sunday. So we do one show Saturday, leave and drive to the next show. So you, you bring a lot of merchandise. Is this an average amount of merchandise that you bring to one of these shows? Every show. And uh, you do a lot of a lot of business, I hope. Yeah, you know, sometimes it'll be a little bit slow, but yeah, we do good business. Good business. Now, how do the prices here compare to a uh, local mall computer store? Or? Uh, I'm not. I don't really go inside the, the mall stores, but I think that if for we might be higher on a few things, but we're lower on a lot of other things because we can offer the academic pricing. 
So even though they may have, you know, we could have cheaper on Word Perfects, whereas in most stores they're like 300 something, we could do it for 159 because of the special academic pricing. Explain the academic pricing. If you're a college student or a teacher with ID, you could get a lot of merchandise at a cheaper price. And uh, so, if, and you just pick these up at the shows, or? What's that? One of the educational software. Right. It's the same version as the retail yeah, version. Right. Anybody can have. I mean, the same word perfect you could buy as well as a teacher. It's just that the teacher's going to get a, a discount on it. Now, what methods? If somebody wanted to get a hold of you other than the shows, what methods can they? Con how can they contact you other than the shows? Well, they could call us at the store. Now, I also understand you also do uh, business through CompuServe and Prodigy and those types of places, or? As far as our, you mean, um, advertisements and yeah. catalogs, right? Yeah. Right, we're in the computer shop or, or offhand, I don't know them all. <laughs> all the places. So you, so you do a big mail order business the, as well? Most of the computer catalogs. So you do a big mail order business as right. well as the... Right. As Probably well as just as equal, if not more. more and and, and more. the store as well. Right, and the store as well. What, what's the hot stuff right now? What are, what's everyone coming in here buying today? Um, what's hot? What's hot? What's hot? Page makers. Page makers, sound cards, music, a lot of the music software. Very big. The, the MIDI sauce, the MIDI kits. Um, your, your CD kits are becoming very popular. Everyone's running out and buying CDs. Yeah, yeah, the CD kits are very, very popular. Um, the sound cards. Is everybody coming in here essentially wanting CD software, more and more CD software? Yeah, we unfortunately we lean more towards software than CDs. We're trying to get it to a little, you know, slowly at a, you know, a little bit at a time. But we're we basically offer software. People running in here wanting more Windows software as well. Um, I think so. Yeah. Well, we appreciate you talking to us, okay. Karen. Thank you very Thank much. You. Good luck today at the show. All right. Hope you guys do a great business out here. Come on, Shadow. Oh, free. free. You're gone now. Shadow. All right, we're here. And where are we, in fact? What's the name of the company here? Oh, hi. I'm from a Business and Computer Bookstore. And your name is? My name is Tony Amenta. Hi, Tony. Um, I see you've got a wide range of books here. Mm -hmm. um, do you guys do just shows or? Uh, no, we sell at uh, a lot of shows up and down the East Coast, but we also do have a bookstore in Willow Grove, Pennsylvania, just outside Philadelphia. How many shows do you do a year? Uh, we do probably anywhere, I don't know on a yearly basis, but anywhere from two to four shows a weekend. Oh, wow. Yeah. So you've got like different crews that go around at different shows? And yep. Yep. We have anywhere from uh, two to four vans, actually, uh, out on any given weekend. Where do you get all the books from? Uh, we buy from distributors, and we also, when we can, we buy directly from the publishers. Okay. Um, now, the books that you have here, replacements or supplements to, like, manuals that come with the software? Uh, some of them are kind of substitutes for the manuals that come with the software. A lot of them go into a lot further depth uh, than the manuals that come with the software. Um, we, we do get people that'll just come out and say, you know, I've gotten a pirated copy of the software, I need a book. It's unfortunate, but we do sell that kind of book. Uh, oftentimes, though, we have people come and say, I've gotten the software, the manual is terrible. Do you have a book that does a better job? That, that fits in most cases. Yes, yes, hopefully it does, yeah. I, I noticed, too, that a lot of the publishers like Microsoft and Lotus and uh, uh, Novell are getting into the book publishing business. Uh, is that becoming a trend? Uh, yeah, it certainly seems to, right. Uh, like Microsoft, I guess, if they didn't have a press themselves, they just bought someone so they could print their own books. And uh, yeah, I guess they want to have more control over uh, what documentation is available for their software, and they want to make sure that the titles are timely uh, you know, to their software releases. And so I guess they feel they can do that better if they're publishing the books themselves. What kind of topics do you, po do you folks handle? Uh, we. We specialize really in computer books, so we cover the range anywhere from the, the PCs for dummies, which is a, kind of the most introductory computer book there probably is, uh, all the way up to you know, advanced Unix programming uh, and just about anything in between. I know I've bought a lot of books from you, from you folks that do uh, programming. I know you've got a lot of titles that you can't find anywhere else. Uh, yeah, we, since we specialize in it, we really try and know our stock. Um, you know, beyond the typical 
kind of do-it-all bookstore. Um, it's not that we're all programmers back at the store, but we, you know, try and keep in touch with it as much as we can, and uh, you know, we try and make the extra effort to have the books that you know the, the average bookstore doesn't have. Now, why would somebody buy from you here at a computer fair versus buying from a mall bookstore? Okay, well, here at the show, um, anything that we've got here at the show is probably going to be discounted more deeply than at the, the typical mall bookstore. Um, not only that, but probably even here at the show, I've probably got more titles than the average, you know, uh, wide-range bookstore. Uh, and certainly, if anyone's interested in doing mail order with our store, you know, with our 800 number or a bulletin board, uh, we've certainly got more titles than, you know, most any other bookstore in America, uh, computer book titles. What are the hottest books right now? Probably one of the hottest subjects is uh, the internet, actually, um, which is kind of this uh, worldwide global network. Um, and just everyone wants to know what is it, what's it about, how do I get to it, how do I you know, work on it. And uh, so internet books right now are, are selling like crazy. And how many, or you must do a good business at these shows. Um, I guess in a quantitative method here, how many books do you normally sell at a show? How many do you come with versus what you take back with you? <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, I, we take a lot more back than we'd like to. Um, it's, uh, you know, I'd say we probably sell anywhere from 15 to 20 percent of the books that we bring, you know, at a given show. It, it really depends. I mean, at a great show, it might be more. But, and, and, and you carry all the most current editions of all the books? Yes, yeah. Uh, we really try and, and specialize in that the most. Um, we're not as interested in carrying bargain books on, you know, five and ten-year-old software packages. We'd rather, you know, have the new books on the brand new software. And uh, now, if somebody were to call you up and order it through your store or through a mail order, do you get the same price that you get here at the fairs, or is this a better deal? No, uh, we do uh, discount more heavily at the at the shows. Uh, the advantage of the store is that we do have pretty much absolutely every computer book in print back at the store. Um, so the people that are calling the store, there's the convenience of it being shipped UPS to your house, um, and there's also the uh, advantage of the selection. You know, we've just got just about every computer book in print we have back at the store. So if somebody wants to get in touch with you, they can take a drive down to uh, Willow Grove, Pennsylvania, or they can visit you here at the shows. Right, or they could uh, call our 800 number, um, or we also do have a bulletin board number. If they use computer bulletin boards, you can uh, look at our titles on the bulletin board and also order right over the bulletin board with a credit card. That's great. Yeah, I've called the bulletin board a few times, and oh, okay. uh, it's got a pretty complete list up there. Yeah, we try. We try. It's, uh, <laughs> it's hard keeping that one up, though. Absolutely, absolutely. Everything needs to be updated all the time, and uh, you know, there's just so many people and just so much time, but uh, doing, doing the best we can. That's great. Well, appreciate you talking to us. We'll let you get sure. back to work here. Thanks and, very uh, much. Thanks, Tony. Okay. And your name is? Uh, I'm Bert Berger. And what Bert. brings you? What? <laughs> My name is Bert Berger. Oh, okay. What brings you down here to the computer fair? Well, I'll tell you. I, uh, I've had a, uh, an old computer. I've had it for about five years, and it's uh, real old. And I've been talking to several people, and they think, it's wonderful, but the thing is so slow and so old, and I know I've reached almost the end of my capacity. And I ought to—I I just thought, it, what a great opportunity this is to come down to the exposition here and find a place, and maybe I can update my computer, find more programs that I can use. I'm really looking to expand. Uh, I'm somewhat uh, semi-retired now, and I'm going to be spending a lot more time home on my computer. I want to update it, get it faster. And I think I can do a great deal more with it. I have several new programs in mind I'm going to be doing. Uh, I'm going to be uh, having my own uh, uh, sort of a show, and I'm going to be doing interviews. Uh, I'm going to be running retirement seminars, and I'm going to be doing uh, uh, doing script, uh, television scripts for managing money. But basically, and I really need a computer that can has more capacity and. I, I think it will do be, be really enhance what I do dramatically. And I, my problem is I don't know a great deal. I, I don't know enough about computers. I've been using it, but I really need uh, to acquire more information. And I, I came down here and actually, of course, I've going be go, been going over to a few of the exhibitors here, except uh, they offered suggestions and they just haven't uh, basically what's happening is that I don't know enough to make proper decisions mm -hmm. to do this. 
And I think it's important. I think it gives me a great opportunity to really expand what I know and what I'm doing with a computer, which I think in the end run will be very helpful for me. I think, I think that the situation you're in is very common. You have a lot of people out there that have older computer systems that need to know how to upgrade them or, or even just replace them. Yeah, I know, but the problem is I, I don't know, uh, you know, I have to go around and talk. I'm talking a lot and find out a lot more because there is so much to know and I realize that the technology of the computers has advanced so dramatically in the past few years it's almost, it's almost hard to believe. Uh, matter of fact, a friend of mine said, do you realize that the new computers run, uh, I, I can't remember the number, I think it's 40 times faster, whatever, <laughs> whatever it is. And that's really, it's, you know, you sit down and think about it, that's a lot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, thanks, Bert. Appreciate Bernie. you stopping and talking to us. Good. Thank you very much for the opportunity. And, and good luck in your uh, computer buying spree here today. Well, I really, I'll keep you informed. <laughs> I know you are now. That's right. <laughs> thanks, Bert. We want to thank everybody here at the PC Fest show for allowing us to come in and do some taping. We also want to thank the different vendors and the people that we spoke to here. And uh, I'll take this right back to the studio now. And thank you, Randy. We're back from the Big E at the PC Fest Computer Fair. And whenever there's a computer fair in town, it's always great to get over to them. They're at the uh, Big E, at the Civic Center, at the Ramada Inns. Uh, different area locations. Uh, cost five or six dollars to get into them sometimes, but it's uh, well worth your time to get over there and see what kind of deals you can come up with. And I'd like to thank Glenn and Ernie for putting the uh, PC together for the very last time there and getting the uh, sound card and CD-ROM drive going. And that about wraps it up. We're all out of time here and I have to get going. So we'll see you next time on PC Voyage. Thanks for watching. <laughs>